What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are heading to the Miami Grand Prix and if you've missed the past couple of episodes you know our races haven't been going too well but again it's to be expected with where we are at in the car so hopefully we can make a difference now heading in to some future races. We've been able to get the manufacturing sorted in terms of the different car components that we're missing out on um, after the crashes that happened in Baku. Um, we've got essentially the front wings finishing up whilst we're in the middle of the weekend. So we'll have a spare front wing there. Suspension is going to be fine as well by the time we get to the end of the race weekend as well. Also, in terms of research and development, as you can see, we've got front wing, side pods, and suspension all being worked on. Um, the front wing and side pods will be done before the next Grand Prix in Imola in two weeks' time. And then we've started our first research project as well with the rear wings. So, again, trying to spread these out as much as possible um, and trying to get as many upgrades to speed up this car as quickly as possible to make us as competitive as we can be heading into the middle part of the season. So yeah, we're going to be heading into the next Grand Prix and we, yeah, we're going to get ready, do the prep, get the practices done and I'll see you there. So we've got to the end of practice one and as you can see, the times are where we would expect to be really. Um, a few tents ahead of Piastri uh, between Joe and Piastri um, with us being on the soft. So pretty similar times to where we would expect. Pretty similar on times to the guys above us as well. Only a couple of tents above us and the next couple of spots with Bottas. So yeah, where we expected to be really. In terms of the setup, not quite there with Bottas where I'd like him to be um, and Joe is progressing at the rate I would like him to. So yeah, let's see what we can do with the next couple of practices and get the setups hopefully into a more optimum window. So here we are then at the end of practice three and as you would expect, we're still down at the bottom. But again, very tight times between Joe and Oscar. And Valerie again, only really a 10 for 2 behind the guys who are running on quicker tyres. So yeah, hope is there that on a track like Miami, we might be able to get a decent result here. Again, we're trying to aim as high as possible, get into that top 15 where we can. 14 gets us a satisfied race outcome, so even just getting that eases the pressure a little bit going into future races. Um, and yeah, hopefully maybe something happens in the race and we can see what happens. But qualifying is going to be in heavy rain. So yeah, maybe we can make some time up there. So the first round of qualifying has been completed and Joe unfortunately has gone out in 20th. But Bottas manages to sneak through with a 131 and gets out in 15th. So yeah, Bottas managing to make it through. He's only a 10th or so behind De Vries. So maybe that is something we can try and utilize a little bit and, and maybe push ourselves a little bit higher. But nice that we've beaten the two Williams because they're usually quite competitive. Um, and yeah, seeing what we can do. The two Hasses doing quite well in 11th and 10th. So yeah, there's a whole six tenths between us and the top 10, which you would expect. So would be heavily surprised and shocked if we managed to get out of Q2. And it's just as we expected, Valtteri goes out in 14th. But again, it's a valiant effort really to try and get the most out of the car um, and try and be as close as we can to the guys above us. We're a couple of tenths ahead of De Vries in the Alfa Tauri. And we were a few tenths back on the two Hasses. So yeah, if we finish in this position, I would be absolutely ecstatic and delighted with that but based on where we are with the car. Um, again, hoping that when these next upgrades come in over the next few races that we'll be a bit more competitive heading into the summer. But yeah, we're going to try and make the most of what we've got um, and see what we can do. Maybe there's some mistakes up front, like I say again, and yeah, try and push it as far as we can. So again, like we have been doing for the past few races, we're going on a more aggressive strategy and going on the two softs and medium. Again, it saves us a bunch of time, um, so it kind of makes more sense to try and execute that as best we can. Um, so we've got about 12 laps, no, sorry, 17 laps, sorry, uh, to get through on the first stint, and then we're going to be on the mediums and then finish sort of the last 10 laps or so on the softs. Obviously, we may have to change and adapt to that a little bit based on obviously how the race progresses such as safety cars and things like that but yeah we're going to start from 14th and 20th so let's get into it so here we go then folks it's going to be starting from the back for Joe and 14 for Bottas so let's flick to him and see how his race starts again not much in it he's got the two Hasses around him they're starting on the mediums and there's already been an incident Joe's been involved in it as a Sonoda, let's have a look. Let's see what happened. 
Now there's the car of Piastri. You can so Piastri trying to defend on Jaw, and Jaw just clatters into the back of him. That's got to be wing damage, surely. Is that wing damage? Yeah, it's major, and chassis has got minor damage as well. It's a costly mistakes from Jaw. Thankfully, we put in, we put in the. Uh, we need to pit as well, obviously, because we'll have damaged softs, I would imagine. Yeah, already down to 85%. So, do we go medium first and then just do two soft stints if needs be and bank on there being a safety car of some kind? I don't know. But no safety car now. But Bottas still sitting in 14th, which is good to see. But not a great thing to see from the other side of the garage where Joe's making mistakes. So something for us to consider, I think, over the next race or two. Because that is a few mistakes now we've seen. And a few bits of damage from Joe. Now, as we know from other saves and from real world experience with F1, it's expensive when you make that many mistakes. So yeah, just trying to get Bottas to push on these tyres now and make up some time on Hulkenberg. As Joe comes in for his pit. He's going to have the penalty as well, don't forget. And yeah, not a great start to the race as we head into the second lap. So as you can see, we're heading into lap four right now. And it's about 1.2 seconds between Bottas and Hulkenberg. We've opened that similar sort of gap as well to Sargent. Doing pretty well here. Um, and it's, it's all done. Um, so yeah, uh, we are continuing to keep going with this strategy um joe again he's trying his best to cut down these times he's going to have piastri right in front of him i think um or it's going to be certainly a lot closer to piastri um about six seconds or so but again we're, we're banking on a safety car or something happening to get joe back into the race but again we'll keep pushing them see what we can do um try and keep that gap open to sergeant because again 14th is what we're aiming for and yeah we'll see what we can do um, once we get into this race proper. Five laps down, and in a decent position, really. So we're into lap six now, and as you can see, we're right on the tail of Hulkenberg, um, chasing him down as we head into the DRS section. And yeah, doing a really good job. Albon's now in front of Sargent, so I would expect a bit of a charge from Albon to come. Um, but again, we're trying to just follow this Haas as quickly as possible and get out in front of him if we can. So yeah, Bottas doing a great job of being competitive and keeping himself in this race. So yeah, long may that continue. As we try to make a pass there, heading into the first turn of the next lap, and Bottas has made it stick, but Hulkenberg's right on the gearbox. And we are pushing this as much as we can. Obviously, we've got a bit of tyre performance to push with. And next up is Norris. If we can get that gap closed down, I think we'll be on to a real good job here. But again, there's a couple of DRS sections. The Haas is obviously a little bit quicker than us with total engine output. So yeah, it's now all about trying to close this gap down to Norris and trying to make up as much time on him as possible. And as you can see into lap eight, and Hulkenberg's got the position back over Bottas. But we're going to be heading into the next DRS section. Side by side. And unfortunately, Hulkenberg has got the DRS. Oh, we nearly go into the back of Hulk as well. That could have been very dangerous for us. That could have been a lot of damage. We've already got to replace one one front wing with manufacturing before we even get to the next Grand Prix. Though, fortunately for us, our factory is going to have an upgrade, so we'll have three manufacturing slots, so it's not too problematic now going into the rest of the season. But yeah, Bottas now clinging on to the back of Hulkenberg, staying in DRS territory as we head into lap nine. So here we go then on the DRS straight of lap nine. And we are side by side with Nico and we make the move stick. And now we're just going to try and pull ahead a little bit, open up a gap if we can with this ERS. And we make it about an eight tenths, seven tenths gap between ourselves and Hulkenberg. So yeah, Bottas in the fight here with, with the Hulkenberg Haas. Here we go then into DRS territory as Hulkenberg makes the pass. And we've got the DRS, I think. Yes, we have. Going down the inside again. And we make it stick. Oh, no, we don't. Hulkenberg comes straight back here. As now we're into lap 12. But you can see the gap has closed a little bit to Norris. 
down to about a second and a half. So yeah, showing good pace so far, though Albon has caught right back up um, in 15th. So again, there's going to be some more on-track battles, I think, to come as these laps progress. Again, the gap about half a second as we head to the final DRS straight of the 13th lap. Well, the 12th lap, I should say. Sorry, we're heading into the 13th lap. And again, Bottas only half a second or so behind Nico, but he's going to go down the inside here. And he makes it stick. And again, just going to try and hold this position for as long as we can. But a good battle between ourselves and the Haas car. So some positive signs there. In terms of Joe, he's pushing on. He's got about an 11 second gap to Piastri. 33 seconds, unfortunately, to Sonoda. Um, so again, I don't really know how we're going to make up a gap like that. Because we're going to have to pit stop again. And we are going to have to stop again, I should say. And then we're going to have, obviously, the issue of everybody else. Potential, unless there's a safety car that brings everyone together again, then that might be the thing that saves us with, with Joe. But unfortunately, he's just not there at the minute in terms of pace. Um, it's just a shame, really, because the lad's got potential, but he's made us a couple of mistakes, and now we're, we don't really have anyone to help fight with Bottas. So, yeah, see how it goes for the rest of the race, I guess. And we've got into the 15th lap of the race here. And Albon is not closing down on Bottas as much as I thought he would do on the DRS. But again, we are using a bit of DRS to try and get keep Bottas in this position and try and open up this gap. Um, again, the gap's about 1.8 seconds now to Hulkenberg as the life of the softs is starting to fall off. Um, Albon only has a few extra percent, but again, he, he'll probably make that work. Um, as we are getting close now to pit territory and we'll be going on to the mediums once we hit that pit mark and Albon now side by side with us on that DRS section making up a load of time again don't need Bottas to be making any overtakes here we just need to stay relatively close to Albon and then we can work on making up those positions safe gap of about 7.5 seconds to Sergeant so not too worried about that but again, Bottas doing a great job for us here, considering the car and considering the circumstances. So let's see what he can do. As you can see, Arbon has pulled away, but there's been a safety car, and that is the worst time for a safety car to come in for us. Who is it that's involved? It's Gasly and Russell. You can see K-Mag there in the background with the other LP knock-on. And it's been a full safety car deployed. And it's really unfortunate for us because a bunch of people are going to come in for pits now. And we are going to go on to our usual strategy and tell them to pit. Obviously, just need to harvest everything now. Don't safety need to really worry about anything. Um, we'll bring Joe in now. <sighs> we don't have another set of mediums, though, really, to... We can limp him through to the end. Or we go hards. We'll go softs. Just hope that there's another... As Russell gets a five second time penalty. And as you can see, everyone's gone in the pits now. So yeah, full safety car after that incident between Russell and Gasly. And somehow, with the pit stops, we've been able to make up a place. And we've got in front of Hulkenberg. Obviously, it doesn't matter too much in the grand scheme of things. But everyone's gone on to hard tyres, so everyone's choosing to go the long route um, with a one-stop strategy or maybe go all the way on the end. Um, but obviously, we're going to try and get Bottas to push here because I think with them being on the hards, we could make up some places, especially when you consider we've got, what, Albon, Norris, Magnussen in, in front. These are the three we're sort of looking to compete with. So, yeah, let's see what we can do when the race restarts. So the safety car is ending as we're heading to the end of this lap. It's really unfortunate for Piastri. He's like a minute behind. Um, but yeah, we're going to get Bottas ready to go as well as Joe. And hopefully Joe can make up some spots because we've got mediums and hards around us. Same with Bottas. Let's see if we can take advantage of this situation that Gazi and Russell have presented us. Definitely in for a top 14 finish if we can get this restart right. 
And yeah, let's see what we can do. As we are waiting now for Perez to restart. And again, we're going to be racing as we cross the line. Piastri just getting to the start of that back straight. And Albon's already pulled away. Wow, that, <laughs> that's pretty quick. Um, that Williams, Hulkenberg's on the back of him as well, but he's on the hard, so I wouldn't want us to be struggling against a hard tyre Haas. We're now on the quicker tyre. And it hasn't been a great restart from Bottas, unfortunately. But he does get back in front of him, and Hulkenberg takes it back. So there we go, then. That's the race, in a nutshell, really. And we're getting Joe to push straight away on the softs to try and make up as much time as possible. Again, he's in 17th. Still only a second or so behind Sonoda. But again, he's got a bit of damage on the chassis, so not really too surprised by that. We'll deploy on the ERS, try and get Bottas to close this gap down and get get a bit more aggressive. Solkenberg right on the back of Albon. Who is only a place away from finishing in the points. And I would say overall, Albon probably has been quicker than Norris this season. So, wouldn't bet against him getting that. So, yeah. But again, we're not out this race yet. There's still 34 laps to go. And of course, if they're all going on hard tyres till the end, we'll be going on to softs and hopefully making a bit of a difference to the strategy. So yeah, let's see what we can do as Bottas now with the ERS fully flawed. No DRS though, and probably with DRS would have made an overtake there on Hulkenberg. So a good sign. And just as we're saying that, DRS enabled. As he makes a pass there. And gets in front of Nico. So yeah, pushing Bottas on now and hoping we can make some solid difference here. And as we get into lap 25, there is no overtake left. But we have got ourselves a second gap on Hulkenberg. And now making our way towards Albon and Norris. And of course, this is all the battle for the final point space. So nice to see that we're in this, at least. For now, anyway. Um, as Sonoda is now trying to make up time on Sonoda, though I don't think he'll do it because of the damage he's got. But yeah, let's see what we can do with the next stint of the race. And as you can see, heading into lap 26, Hulkenberg's made the pass on Bottas again as the tyres have just started to cool down and the ERS is only just charging back up. So, again, but this middle pack that we've got here of the four drivers is really tight and you've got about a second's gap between us and Sergeant, so... Again, just trying to click on to the back of these guys and and wait for a moment to strike, really. But again, Bottas doing a really good stint here and keeping us in at least a competition for points. So yeah, let's keep pushing and see what happens. So we're coming up now to the DRS straight in lap 27 on the back of Hulkenberg. Coming up side by side, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen as we've just had to take evasive measures there to not hit into the back of him. We're going to come back again. On the DRS straight, took it on the inside into turn one, and we've made it. But Hulkenberg's coming straight back. Thankfully, we've got ERS in the back pocket. So we can start to pull away and keep that lead. But again, it, the next question is, can we get onto the back of Lando and Albon? Because it's about half a second between us, half a second between Hulkenberg. A bit of a gap between ourselves and Sargent. But again, we need this stint to go on as long as possible. No safety cars now, please. Because if it does, we'll have to switch to the hard tyres. And I would suspect everyone else goes on the mediums. This Lando makes a really interesting defending manoeuvre there. And we have somehow dived in between Lando and Albon. Um, and we're going to go on to the next stint of the race. But again, Lando right behind us on DRS. And Albon there sitting in, in front on... The, the temp spot. Overtake available. Copy. I'm gonna deploy again with Joe and get him to, get him to go again. To Copy. Again, he's hanging in there with those guys. Piastri's got the time down to about 34 seconds gap. And yeah, Potas now looking to try and make the most of this scenario because again. Not to be rude about it, but we do get nose beads being up in 11th and an Alfa Romeo at the minute. So again, looking to just 
open up that DRS, close the time down a bit more, be a bit more aggressive on the on the tyre. And again, if we can get this through to about lap 42, 43, we'll be on to a new set of softs and then we'll be at the races. And again, it's about opening up as much of a gap as possible to the back markers so we don't get stuck behind them. And being on a fresh set of soft tyres will help us in the long run, obviously, in that sort of lap, last sort of 12, 13 laps. Azure has made an overtake on De Vries. Let's see how we did now this, this then. Was at turn three. It's there for the taking. Well done to him. That's a great overtake. I mean, he's on the soft tyres, taking on the hard tyre, whereas you'd think he'd make a bit of time up already, but obviously not that easy when you've got a bit of damage on the car, but he's making the most of it. And uh, as I say, we're making the most of it. We're now on the back of Albon. Just going to cool these tyres back down and get deploy on as we head down the DRS straight. And let's see if we can make some moves here. Oh, Albon's done the same thing as Lando as we go back to the outside and looking to make a move around the outside, and he has. It's going to be a drag race to the final line, and we've made it. No more overtake. Copy. But we're not going to have overtake to to keep us in front, I don't think. It's all going to be based on Potas's skill now, which we know he can make the most of. And again, hard tyres are in front of us as well, so... Just trying to open up as much of a gap as we can to the people behind us so that when the pick comes, we can make the most of that soft stint. But yeah, it's going to be a long, long race for us to get to this point, or to get to a point in the race, I think. Uh, but I definitely think we're in a fight for, the, for these positions. Whether people are happy about that or not in rounders, that remains to be seen. Now, as you can see, as we're into lap 32 now, Bottas has dropped back a little bit from Albon. Maybe the tyre of the medium's not lasting as long as we'd like them to. But again, we've just got about seven or so more laps to get through. And we'll be on to the softs. And then we've got a good stint to get through the pack on the softs. But again, we've got to try and open the, this gap. Sort of hold on to these positions for as long as we can. And get through as quickly as possible. So, we're going to deploy... And see if we hold on to this with Hulkenberg. I mean, he's only a tenth behind us and he's got DRS, but he doesn't look like he's making the move just yet. But he's coming around to the side of us now. And Bottas doing really well to just keep these positions, to be fair. He's doing superbly with a car that isn't nearly up to scratch to be fighting for top ten. And as we're reeling back Albon in now, just trying our best to keep with him and again we're pushing Joe on the softs because he's going to have to come in he doesn't have any more mediums unfortunately for him so it may well be a hard strategy we have to go on for Joe just to get him through to the end of the race and just push him push and push Copy. but again Bottas is the main concentration right now as he's doing superbly well to keep in with Albon using the ERS as much as we can Again, not overheating the tyres, but really focusing on just keeping this gap as much as we can to the other guys. Because again, the back the back markers and the back ten are all really closely packed together. But we should be able to make up some decent time when we get on these softs. As we open up the DRS, defending from Hulkenberg, but attacking Albon at the same time. And that is going to be us heading into lap 35 in 11th. As you can see, we're into that, heading into that 36 now. We're right on the back of Albon again. And just managing to keep Nico behind us. Not as easy said as it is done. Not as easy done as it is said, I should say. About half a second, the gap between us and the Williams car. But again, we know we've got the benefit of the soft tyres to come in late on in the race. Whether they go on to sauce themselves is another thing to be seen. Because, of course, their tyres are currently at, what, 70%? I think they'll be going for a one-stop strategy here. Signs will be coming in soon as well. He's on 42%. As is Perez. So Leclerc and Verstappen really primed to be fighting for that win. As again, we come in to deploy. And push on a bit more now with Albon. Right in front of us. Heading into the DRS section. And we're following Albon pretty closely. And doing pretty well at it as well. So yeah. Really great racing here from Bottas. Let's just hope we can keep it going. 
And the same with Joel. Let's hope he can keep pushing. I'm going to try and keep Joel going for as long as possible on these sauce. So probably get him down to about 20% and then pit him. Because I think by the time we get to that point, we'll be able to get another soft stint out of him. So yeah, just try and push him as much as we can and we'll see where we end up. And as you can see, why using the ERS, we've been able to drop Albon a little bit. And Sonoda's come in, actually. That's interesting. Okay, so some of the harder tyres are coming in now. Maybe they're coming in for a soft stint. So what we might do is we'll just... What's Sonoda coming into, though? He's gone on to brand new softs. Okay, so we'll pit Joe... Try and cover Sonoda off. Again, we'll keep Bottas where he is. Don't need to rush Bottas' strategy. We're perfectly fine with that at the minute. And then we'll try and keep this gap open to Albon. Because again, he's going to have DRS and he's going to have Hulkenberg chasing him as well. So if Hulkenberg comes back into it and scrabbles a little bit with Albon, that might help us as well. Dave Hulkenberg's come into the pits. Okay, so we're going to go on the attack. We're going to deploy. And we're going to get him in for a soft stint. It's a lap or so earlier than I expected. But again, I honestly thought the hards were going to stay out. But Magnussen's come out on softs. Hulkenberg's come out on softs. Shaw's now in. We just need Bottas to get this through as cleanly as possible. And hopefully be able to come out in front of the guys that we're battling with. But again, we're managing to open up a gap to Albon, which is fantastic. And yeah, lap 40, we're going to have 27 lap, not 27, 17 laps, sorry, to get through on these softs as he's coming in now. And Albon has gone by. So Albon is staying out. We go on to the softs. Nice, clean pit stop. Fantastic work, guys. Hulkenberg's coming round. It's going to be tight. But we are... We are just in front of Hulkenberg. You can see him there a little bit further back. But again, it's been a great execution there from the guys of that pit stop. We needed that sort of performance from them. And they've handed it dutifully. So, the pressure now comes to De Vries and Sargent and Norris and Albon question is can we make the time up on them I think we can I think we can make that time up on soft tyres to hard and medium whereas we can definitely make up those times we've just got to ease these tyres through and get them through to the end which I think we'll be able to do quite easily so yeah let's see what Bottas can do when push on and just as we said that Hulkenberg's caught up to us and has made up some time but again Hulkenberg's really the guy who's been fighting all race but he's struggling to get past the freeze, just like we were, even though he's got DRS. And we're going down the inside, three wide there. That's probably not the place to do it, Valerie, but you've gone for it anyway. I respect the cojones that you have on you to go for a move like that. And now we're going to have the DRS straight to try and get past Nico. We might get to freeze as well, though Nico is defending it quite aggressively. Oh, this is, this is a pressure situation if there is one. We've both got past the breeze. We're now in the DRS section. Pushing it as much as we could there without crashing the car, thankfully. And we head up to 14th now. Chasing with Hulkenberg on to these next couple of Sergeant and Norris. And now it's just going to be a case of trying to keep the pace up. Because Magnussen's not going to be pitting again. You would reckon Ocon and Albon are. So again, there's, there's potential for points here if we can get this right. There's very much potential for points here if we can get this right. 15 laps to go. Let's keep pushing. You can see we've just lapped Piastri there. Lost a bit of time doing it. And Hulkenberg is now on the back of Sargent. So Hulkenberg really opened up a gap there in that last lap. De Vries having a pit stop issue, which is a real shame for us. I mean, that sarcastically. But um, yeah. In a really great spot here. If we can just keep closing time down. And if Sergeant and Norris can hold up Hulkenberg, we can maybe get back in front of him. But yeah, just really focus on these next few laps and closing these, these times down now. And let's see what we can do. So Sergeant comes into pit now. Into lap 45 we go. 2.6 seconds the gap to Hulkenberg. And that is the next thing we are focusing on is cutting that time down. And seeing how he does trying to catch up to Norris on, on the hards. 
And Albon, I mean, as long as we manage these softs correctly, we should catch up to them. And we're keeping Sonoda behind us as well. We'll be the other main target. Um, though we could get Jaw to help us out with that. As he's on a pretty good stint himself. So yeah, let's see where we end up. Still a long way to go though, 11 laps to go. So we're starting to cut the time down to Hulkenberg to about a second or so now. Hulkenberg himself is catching up with Albon and Norris, who are about five and a half seconds ahead. So yeah, we're doing our bit here with Bottas. Um, Jaws doing really well to keep some pressure up on, on Sonoda and keeping Sargent behind him. Got 10 laps to go. Long way to go, it still feels like, but we're doing pretty well. So coming up now to the back of Hulkenberg. Approaching him at a rate of knots with the DRS and ERS activated. But unfortunately, it's not enough to get us there as we run out of ERS. Going down the inside, though, into turn one. Side-by-side -side action here. And we look like we've made it. Yeah, we've looked like we've stuck the landing on that one. You can see there, Hulkenberg, though, is going to have DRS on the next section. And he's going to be approaching quite rapidly, I think. The gap now between Albon and ourselves is two and a half seconds. And Joe working on this gap between himself and Sonoda and build up a little bit more cushion on Sargent as well. He would cut that down to about a second and a half. So Joe putting in a really good stint for us as well towards the back end of this race. So here we go then. Back down the DRS straight we go. And it's about 1.6 seconds now as Albon and Norris are fighting with each other. And they come around that final corner. Side by side, and that's helping us really. And we are now building up a bit of a gap now with Hulkenberg, which is nice to see. And the gap is now rapidly declining between ourselves and those last of the points takers. And we're doing really well here. We've just got to keep the focus going, keep the pressure on, keep ourselves in DRS territory. And we should be okay. And Joe's doing a grand job as well, sticking with Sonoda and keeping Sergeant behind him. Long may that continue. As we are now on the back of Norris on lap 52. Five laps to go. It's moments like this that make the difference. And we stay at the back of Norris. We can't make the move happen just yet, but we're cooling down the tyres, ready to push again in the next couple of laps. 46% Albon is down to. Norris on 51% himself. So again, it's all about trying to preserve it, not pushing too early, but making the moves at the right times. As the gap's opening up between Norris and ourselves, or Albon and Norris, I should say, and ourselves. And we're going on the ERS to try and make this move happen around the outside on the DRS section. And he makes it happen. And now, next target is Albon. Let's see what we can do on this straight. Can we make some time up here? Going to take the ERS off so we can harvest it. Get as much as we get going. And it's 1.4 seconds the gap by the time we get to the end of the straight. This is really great driving for Bottas. He's putting in a hell of a race here so far. And again, just looking to try and keep this as solid as possible. And keeping ourselves in this race as much as we can. As the second and a half gap now. Going to go up on to Gresham on the tyre. And wait for the ERS to load itself back up. As we get the gap down to around a second and three tenths. And that is a lock up for the Claire. But it isn't a safety car. He's going down that long DRS straight in first position as well of all places. And signs behind him will be saying, thank you very much there, Charles. You've just handed me a race win. And again, heading to the next DRS straight. Only a second and a half behind Albon. But we need to deploy, I think, to get this time down. Albon just slowly pulling away a bit. But again, we've got a bit of tyre to use with three laps to go. And just trying to get ourselves in that DRS section. And give ourselves something to push with. As we're now under a second with three laps to go, folks. Oh, I'm feeling tense here. And there's been a red flag. There has been okay, a red flag. A red Who flag. is it? It's Hamilton. Hamilton, someone else has crashed. Who's watching Alonso with this one? It's Hamilton and Alonso. Alonso just squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. Hamilton had nowhere to go there. Really didn't have anywhere to go. We have a huge final three laps to go. 
in this race. We are going to be in points positions again. But it's going to be... We're set once more. Oh, this is going to be nerve-wracking, guys. I didn't think we could get a more dramatic ending than Singapore last year with Haas, but it's going to be a big one. We're going to push him straight away. We're going to just get him to deploy, push on everything. We need Joe to jump up a few places if he can to help his teammate out. I don't know what's happened there, but Bottas and Zio are in ninth and 10th. I don't know what happened there. What happened? So here we go, heading into turn one. So Hulkenberg, Hulkenberg smashed into Bottas and has held everyone up. And that somehow worked out in our favor. Push more too close again, if possible. So now, with two laps to go, the question is, can we hold on to this? Has anyone got any damage? Still only minor damage on Joe. Again, we need to just push this as much as we can and not let Sonoda come back. But Hulkenberg's made a bit of an error there. We're not going to make up any time on Albon. Unfortunately, he's going to be on the softs now, surely. Yeah, he is. But again, it's going to be a, a ninth and 10th finish as long as it stays like this. Don't fight your teammate, for the love of God, Joe. Again, just get through this last lap, boys. No over-the-top maneuvers. Just stay nice and calm, and we'll be fine. Again, Hulkenberg's done us a huge favor. A huge slice of luck to go for us there. But it'll help us because it'll close that gap down to McLaren. As long as we stay as we are. And at the minute, it looks like that's what it's going to be. But what a huge outcome this will be for the team if we finish as we are. Because, again, we were nowhere really. Um, of course, we've had a bunch of luck with the safety cars and stuff like that. But Bottas was driving beautifully and was heading for points there. He was catching Albon. Um, of course, Williams getting a bit of luck finishing in seventh. But, again, I'm not going to complain because we get a double points finish at Miami, ladies and gentlemen. What a great finish. And Sainz did really well, to be fair to him. He got ahead of Leclerc and then there was the safety car. So, fantastic, fantastic finish. And we've managed to get double points for Bottas and Joe. And quite rightly taking the plaudits there from the team. Bottas a very popular man on the track and in, in the circuit in Carlos Sainz. Didn't have a head there for a second. That was a bit worrying. Um, but yeah, we make up three points there. Of course, Williams get the slice of luck that we had in... Uh, where did we get seven points again? Jeddah, that was it. Um, and they... They get six points out of that. And yeah, we've now got ourselves a couple more points in the constructors. So now we're up to one point now behind McLaren. Williams also joint with us now. Albon put in some really good stints. Which has got me thinking maybe we should take Albon on board ourselves and maybe take out their strongest driver and give them to us. Because um, we've got the budget for it and we could certainly get him in. But yeah, we've done great there to get to a double points finish with that car is phenomenal. So yeah, really well done to the boys for driving like they have. In terms of the fastest pit stop, we weren't far off in getting the top 10. Again, only, what, nine hundredths off the Aston Martin's pit stop. So we are developing quite nicely. Just got to keep that pit stop team going and I'm sure we'll be there or thereabouts. And yeah, to go from, what, 14th and 20th into 9th and 10th, that's a fantastic jump from the boys. So yeah, we'll take that very much and move on to the next race as we get a nice little bonus of 2.3 million coming in. Of course, the boys get their little race bonuses as well and muchly deserved they are as we move into the next round, which will be at Imola. So yeah, guys, what a race. Um, that was quite something to experience and to go through. I'm sure you'll agree. If you did enjoy it, as our upgrade comes through for the factory, thanks very much. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, as a load of stuff is now happening with research and manufacturing. Let's have a look at the cost cap. Still at 81 million, so we're looking good for now. But yeah, closing that gap down to McLaren has really helped us, I think, and we've got upgrades coming as well, so maybe we can be a bit more competitive 
in the races to come. So I will catch you at Imola. I'll get us ready and I'll see you there, folks. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.